Hello guys, welcome back to another fishing video. We are back out on the river. These videos done really well last year. There was a huge interest in them. So we're back out fishing the wild streams here in Ireland for some wild brown trout with the ultra light spinning gear. So we have maybe an hour and a half this evening. The, the trout season here in Ireland just opened. So we're gonna give the river about an hour and a half before it gets dark. Um, I picked up a new setup I'm gonna be testing out. I have a few new setups to try out throughout the year. This is actually a favorite arena. One to four and a half gram casting rod, or spinning rod, and I have a Shimano Vanford size 1000 on that with some 0.08 Western braid. It's a really, really cool looking rod. Fits really nice into the hand. I have that paired up with some six pound fluorocarbon leader down to a small little Salmo minnow as the lure. So we're just gonna hit the river for an hour and a half, try to catch a few wild trout, have a bit of fun. We're gonna take you along for the adventure. There was a huge interest in these videos last year, so hopefully this year they do the same. And yeah, let's go fishing, lads. Now, so this is the new rod for the year. I'm gonna be testing out a few new rods. Wild Hunter are getting in a few setups coming up. This is actually the favorite arena, and Wild Hunter have a few of the major craft rods coming in soon, so we'll be testing them out as well. But for the minute, we'll give this one a go. It feels really nice. Let's go fishing. I'm gonna be starting off with the Salmon Minnow, five centimeter sink and lure. Now, let's work our way up the river. I have the waders on, so we'll be able to fish the river walking upstream. Let's go. There's a fish. Oh, we're into a trout. Oh, it feels really good on this rod. He's going crazy. Wet your hands, obviously. Very important when you're catching trout. Now, so, here he is. Beautiful little wild trout. We'll just drop him back here quickly. Good stuff. That felt really good on the rod. It's so much electric. That's what it feels like. It's so like you're in direct con contact with the blind because it's like a skeleton grip, as you can see it there. So you're, you're basically holding the rod. And that was only a small trout, don't get me wrong, but really good fun. It's only a one to four and a half gram rod. So if you're only going to be targeting small trout, you need to use small gear and enjoy it. You don't want to be using a big heavy rod when you're doing this catch and release fishing. You won't enjoy it. So yeah, let's keep going. Big cast upstream there. There's a trout. Oh no, we lost him. Oh, he hit it just at the top of this pool. I'll give him a second. He might take it again, but I, I definitely hooked him. Let's bring it back down with the current here. Oh, there's a trout. Yeah, right at my feet. There we go. Good stuff. He took it right at my feet. I'm just gonna leave the rod here on the side for a second. Before I grab the trout. Wet the hands, lads. It's very important. You don't need to the slime off him. That's why we're using the rubber mesh. So just wet the hand. Take him out, have a quick look at him. He's only a small, beautiful wild trout. Stunning little guy, we'll drop him back here. See you later, dude. Go get bigger. So as I said lads, this river that I'm fishing at the minute, it's full of wild trout. They're all quite small, but it's really, really good fun. When you're using a rod this light, it's all good crack. It's all a bit of sport. It's all catch and release that I do anyway, so I don't care how big or small the trout are. It's just really good fun. I hope you're enjoying it lads. If you are, leave a like button. Let's go fishing. Okay, so guys, loads of the younger anglers that follow the channel were asking for a bit more info on the spinning for the trout. The sort of techniques that I use that catch the most trout and the easiest ways of doing it. So this is a really effective way of catching trout on any river or stream in Ireland or across the world, obviously. Trout are universal in their behavior. So what you wanna do is I use something like a spinner when, there, when there's a flood on the river or when the flood is dropping down and um, you have a bit of color on the river. And what I have is a pair of chest waders. Be very careful if you're wading in a flood. This river is not fully flooded now. That's why I'm in it. It's only up to my knees, just above my knees. It's perfectly safe. What I'm doing here is I'm casting upstream with the rod and I'm just getting direct contact with the spinner, working it downstream. I always work upstream when I'm trout fishing. If you think about it, then trout are extremely predatory. They're always facing upstream into the flow. A lot of the time they're just sitting at the back of rocks while they're resting, waiting for them insects or the minnows to come past them. And then they're just nipping out and attacking predatory, simple as that. You're getting a lot of the reaction strikes when you're using lures like spinners and wobblers. Most of the time, it's the trout doesn't like what's coming into his little swim. He's going to attack it. 
other than that, it's a reaction strike. He's going to go for it regardless. Anything that fits into a trout's mouth is a meal. If you think about it like that, on these wild streams, there's no other predator in the river apart from the trout. Anything that fits into his mouth, it's his dinner. So I'm using an ultralight spinning gear I explained at the start of the video. Using light tackle makes this way more fun. You can use overkill tackle and it's not going to be as much fun. This is a one to four and a half gram rod. It's five foot ten in length. It's perfect for these small little streams. You can cast it in under the bushes, um, in under trees, behind rocks, stuff like that. You can be really accurate. You won't get that with a big, long, heavy rod. Um, I'm using a small reel, really light in the hand, lads. You could fish with this for hours and hours and hours. Um, you don't need the most expensive tackle when you're doing this. You can get a setup for 20 or 30 euro, or you can get a setup for 300 or 400 euro. It's up to you, lads. Um, I grew up fishing with really inexpensive tackle, you know, cheap rods like Mitchell, stuff like that. Um, rod and reel there for 20 or 30 euro if you want to get started. This reel is obviously, this rod and reel is obviously a step up because I do a lot more fishing. It's it's not a problem for me to do to use this um, because I'll actually get use out of it. So take that into account when you're getting set up. Um, so other than that, lads, work your spinner upstream. Second it hits the water, in contact with it, watching it on the way down. You'll feel that the spinner is moving because you'll feel the you'll feel the resistance on the on the reel on the rod. Um, if you're reeling it and you're not feeling anything, reel faster. You can't reel fast enough for trout. People think that you have to go really slow and work the lure really slowly. Sometimes you do, but a lot of the time you'll get a reaction strike. The faster you spin that lure, if the trout aren't feeding, bring it past them really quickly, bang, you're into the fish. Simple as that. So there's a few tips, lads, for anybody that's getting into this sort of fishing. If you're an experienced angler, obviously this will just go straight over your head. You don't have to listen to me. But I know there's lots of younger anglers coming across from my TikTok that are taking up the fishing and they're looking for a few tips to get started. So work your way upstream. You can use stuff like spinners, small wobblers. Uh, wobblers are like rapalas, twitch baits, sakuras, um, sakura foxy minnow, duo uh, spearhead, salmon minnow, and um, what else is there? Fish power tail, small little fish power tail lures. You can use anything, lads. Trout will eat anything that fits into his mouth. There's no magic lure. Once you keep working upstream, you'll catch the fish and uh, enjoy it. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. All my fishing is catch and release. Um, I'm only out for a bit of fun. A lot of people, I'm not against lads, they catch a trout for the dinner. Look, trout is obviously one of the most tasty trout fish to eat in the in the river, or in any lake. Um, I just never really enjoyed the taste of fish personally. That's just me being me. I just put them back. It doesn't bother me at all what lads do. So, there's a few basic lads. See how you get on. There's a trout, yeah, into a nice fish here. Oh, he's only small as well. Oh, hey, some neck job that was. Chat was doing somersaults and he still got him. <laughs> he's only a little baby again. The river's full of small trout at the minute. There has to be a big one in here somewhere though. Now let's get him out, have a quick release. With the hands obviously. Beautiful wild trout. He's only about five inches long. Look at the red spots in him though, it's really cool. See you later buddy, good luck now. See you next time. There's a trout. Oh, hey, spinner came out in the net. That's the benefits of using barbless hooks. They are a treble hook that's on this lure, but I have the barbs crushed down. So we're gonna wet the hand here, guys. It's very simple. Before you grab the fish, take him out of the net. Have a quick look at him. Gorgeous little, little belly on him. Only a small little trout, but they're wild fish. Absolutely gorgeous. Tap him here into the water. Off he goes. Easy as that. With them barbless trebles, when you crush down the trebles, it really helps with catch and release. And um, you can put single hooks on if you want as well. It's up to you. So let's keep going. Going cast upstream, bring it down with the current. Oh, there's a hit. Missed it, come back, come back. No, he didn't come back. Try another cast in close. There could be something in along the bank there ahead of me. Not that time. Try another cast. In on the far bank there. Bring it across the stream. No, not that time. And keep working the way up because the sunlight is dropping. Mm. 
No joy, we'll keep moving up. A good cast in along the bank, I'm gonna bring it down with the current, keep the rod up so the spinner doesn't get stuck in the rocks. There's a fish, yeah. Simple as that. Beautiful trout, hook him out in the net. Jumping around like mad. Wet the hand. We'll give a quick look at this guy. Really nice colours on this little trout. Beautiful. See you later, buddy. Very good. Hook came out in the net. That's the way he wants it to happen. Ideal. You don't even need to touch him, really. You could have just flicked him out, other than I was showing him to the camera. Very good. Let's keep going. Good fun. Now, while I have you actually, do me a favour lads, hit that like button, it's the thumbs up button underneath the video, it really helps the channel to grow, um, it lets me make more videos like this, it shows YouTube that you're enjoying the videos basically, um, and hit that subscribe button, um, I always forget to tell people to hit the like button, but it really helps the channel, so without further ado, let's keep fishing. Is it Yes. Beautiful little trout. We get my hook to keep. Get the hand. Small trout. See that loop. Good stuff. There's a trout. Oh, right at my feet. It came off. Okay, so we're gonna wrap up the video there, lads. The sun is gone. It's getting dark outside. Um, couldn't stay fishing there. Couldn't see where I was walking. So we called it a day. Um, we had a good, uh, I'd say two hours of fishing there. Um, got loads of trout, loads of small trout. Um, there's no big trout in the river. Yes, they come up later in the year. Um, but when you're only fishing with a one to four gram rod, it's just savage crack. Like them little small trout are hitting the lure like a, I don't know, like a turbocharged mackerel. That's what they feel like on that rod. Um, it's all catch and release as well, it's just for a bit of sport more than anything. Um, if I want a big trout, I go out on the lake. If I want a, a few hours of entertainment, I go to the smaller rivers and it's it's just really fun. Um, if you like this sort of fishing lads, make sure to hit a like in the video, uh, drop a comment and subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel to grow. Um, I appreciate all the support with it so far. We're actually gone past 11,000 subscribers, which is absolutely mad. Um, I appreciate all the support lads. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch. We'll catch you all here next time.